Maritime Made on Eastlink TV, presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc., because great things are happening. When scientists, engineers, and designers are creating new electronic solutions and innovations, they need new enclosures to house the electronics that they're prototyping. At ProtoCase in Sydney, Cape Breton, they manufacture high-quality enclosures for some of the biggest names in the world. Clients such as Google, Boeing, and NASA. The enclosure design can come from the client or be designed by the in-house engineering team. Once designs and budgets are approved, the digital 3D drawings become the roadmap or the build sheets for each enclosure. The enclosure for this order begins as a simple piece of sheet metal. There are many different materials to choose from. The aluminum sheet metal is loaded onto the bed of the fiber laser cutter. The operator then loads the material into the secure section of the machine. The design for the case is entered into the laser cutter's computer and the cutting begins. The laser cutter is able to cut everything from straight lines to intricate designs. Once finished, the material is fed back out. The cutout parts are removed and are now ready to be processed on the DiscMaster deburring machine. Deburring removes any rough edges, especially where the parts were cut out. Each time an employee works on a customer's order, they refer to the build sheets. Here, a production worker is countersinking a variety of screw holes that will be used to secure components to the finished case. Countersinking creates a conical hole that ensures the screws will sit flush with the surface. Once drilled, the part is sanded to ensure all the edges are smooth. Now, the cutouts and holes are complete. It's time for bending to create the 3D shape of the enclosure. The press brake operator loads the job onto the control panel, then carefully checks the build sheet to ensure all the details are accurate. Finally, he measures the piece and checks for any remaining rough edges. A die is installed on the press brake to create the specific fold needed. The enclosure part is then placed under the bending tool and bent to specification. The bends are checked for accuracy against the build sheet and then signed off. The press brake is used to achieve certain bends that the folder machine cannot. The folder machine also bends the metal enclosure pieces. But it's faster than the press brake and can perform more complex bends. It's a helpful machine when creating multiple quantities of the same part. Once the bending is complete, it's time to install fasteners. Fasteners are used to assemble the enclosure as well as mount circuit boards and other components. The required fasteners are selected and put in place on the enclosure piece. The fastener is then placed between the anvil on the bottom and the punch on the top of the press. Once the pressure is adjusted, the press secures the fastener flush with the surface of the enclosure. If welding was required, it would also be done at this stage. In the paint prep department, the build sheets and parts are checked once again. Each part is hung on a rack and numbered for identification. The racks are then loaded onto a crane system and dipped in a variety of tanks for over an hour. Each tank contains either water or a soap solution that will thoroughly clean the parts and prepare them for painting. 
There is also a tank with a specialized chemical coating, which makes the enclosure corrosion resistant, electrically stable, and durable. Once dry, a variety of silicone plugs are used to protect any fasteners with threads from paint. The parts are now ready for powder coating, which is a paint process where paint is applied electrostatically as a free-flowing, dry powder. When the part is electrostatically charged, the paint is attracted to it, creating an even coat of paint. Compressed air cleans off any possible dirt or dust from the surface. The powder coating is applied evenly on both sides. Finally, the painted parts are cured in an oven for 15 minutes. Many cases require labeling for switches, dials, or meters. There are four different ways the enclosures can be printed at Protocase, depending upon the requirements. Direct digital printing is being used on this part. First, the printing technician sets up the file in the digital printer software. The printer then moves quickly back and forth across the part, printing the ink in layers. Direct digital printing can print virtually any color, including gradient finishes and CGI effects. The ink cures instantly with ultraviolet light and requires no additional drying time. Larger pieces would be printed on this digital printer with a larger bed. Once all of the processes are complete, the assembly and packaging team will assemble the enclosure according to the build sheets. First, the plugs are removed. And the back of the panel is set and screwed in place. The top of the enclosure is set in place then screwed together with a hand drill. Nuts are added to the front panel. And the enclosure is ready for packing and shipping. At Protocase, different customers have different needs. Sometimes customers require their enclosure to be made of solid metal or bar stock instead of sheet metal. Here, a solid metal bar is milled on a 5-axis CNC machine to make the enclosure. The CNC equipment is most often used for aerospace and robotics clients.